This is Michael Popak with the Legal AF Hot Take. Monday is D-Day for Donald Trump to either post the bond for over $450 million running with interest to stop the enforcement by the New York Attorney General of her civil fraud judgment, which he's going to start seizing assets and selling them, including his much-beloved Trump Tower and his apartments and the like. But in the meantime, he's making public statements that are undermining a position he's taking with the appellate court to try to get a stay of the judgment. Now we have new reporting that the appellate division has granted the uh, Letitia James, the New York Attorney General's request to submit a new brief, a final brief, in which she is able to attack and has attacked the veracity of Donald Trump's position, the truth-telling about the people that he submitted affidavits concerning in, in his attempts to try to argue that he can't get a bond, he's tried his hardest, nobody will lend him money, he doesn't have enough money or assets to put up. She's challenged all of that in a new filing that's now been approved by the Appellate Division First Department. She had to ask for permission because Donald Trump, as he always does, violated the rules by throwing into his last paper, what we call the reply brief, new information, new documents, and new affidavits, sworn statements under oath, one by somebody who participated in the fraud itself, as a, as a judge by Judge Angoron, Alan Garten, who's the... Um, general counsel for Donald Trump, and another person who's a golfing buddy of Donald Trump. Both of them combined to say, we can't get a letter of credit from a bank. It's too big. We don't have enough assets. We can't get a bond. We went to a lot of different places. We won't tell you who, what, where, or how. We won't show you the assets that we pledged. We won't show you the correspondence from these banks or insurance companies. Just take our word for it. We are beyond the just take our word for it stage. And the New York attorney general said, that's unfair that he threw into his last brief without me having an ability to apply to reply all of this misinformation and factual misstatements. And I want the opportunity to address it. And now we have today, the appellate court has approved it. Now, what they haven't approved as of right now is an emergency application by Donald Trump to stay the enforcement of the judgment on Monday, which means that Letitia James, as early as Monday, is going to be able to execute on her property. I can tell you one that she's very interested in. It's the Seven Springs Golf Course community because she's already filed the judgment in Westchester County, a county of New York where Seven Springs is located, registering the judgment with the clerk, which serves as a lien against the property, which is the first step to enforcing her judgment. Okay? So she's not waiting for Monday and like going to wake up Monday morning, brushing her teeth and having a cup of coffee and going, hey, I wonder how I can go after all that property. I wonder where it all is. She knows where all of his property is because it's been listed in monitor reports. His property is under a monitorship. I did another hot take about the new robust superpowers of the monitorship that were just entered by the judge this week. But she knows, Letitia James, the New York Attorney General, where all the property is, where all the property is buried, if you will. And she's taking her judgment with $454 million running with interest, compounded every day, right? $3 million a month. And she's taking it and depositing it and filing it with clerk's offices in different counties where this property is located. She already has it filed in New York County, which covers all the property in Manhattan owned by Donald Trump. And now she's going to Westchester to put that down on the Seven Springs property. So she's ready. And now Donald Trump is stupid enough to put in social media that he doesn't need the stay at all. He's asked the he's asked the appellate court to to stay the execution of the judgment, stopping the forced seizure and sale of his assets on Monday without having to put up a dime because he claims he can't do it and it would be punitive and a punishment and all of that and cited some cases that really don't apply to make that argument. But you know what hasn't happened? The appellate court caring the appellate court has not set an emergency hearing. I mean, it could still happen, and we'll do another hot take on it if it does. But they have not set, they've not taken the bait, and they've not given him the remedy he needs. Now, can they rule on it on their own without a hearing? Sure. It's a little bit unusual, especially if you're trying to stop the enforcement of a New York attorney general judgment issued by a New York judge to just do it on the papers. Could they? Sure. But we'll see. In the meantime, as I said, uh, uh, Letitia James, trying to grab already as soon as she can on Monday. Maybe property number one to be seized and sold is the golf course Seven Springs, which was at the heart of the fraud anyway. 
because he hyperinflated the value and cooked the books on its value on his balance sheet, on his personal financial statement in order to get bank loans he wasn't entitled to at rates he wasn't entitled to, insurance at rates he wasn't entitled to. That's the fraud. That's how you come up with the $456 million. Seven Springs is part of that. Old Post Office is part of that. Mar-a-Lago is part of that. 40 Wall Street is part of that and the like. What if ordinary people just like you and me could actually help change the world with the push of a button? Meet Lomi, the world's first kitchen appliance designed to turn your home into a climate solution by transforming your food scraps into nutrient-rich plant food. Before I had a Lomi, I had no idea that our food waste had such a negative impact on the environment, and I learned that food waste makes up a huge portion of our personal carbon footprint. Lomi has changed the way I deal with my food waste and is the biggest innovation in the modern day kitchen since the dishwasher. It's a smart and simple nutrient rich solution with just a push of a button, turning food scraps into plant food in just four hours. Lomi helps cut the annoying chore of taking out the trash in half and helps to eliminate bugs and bad odors in your kitchen. And here's the cool part. You get to feed your lawn or your garden with all natural fertilizer that you just created out of your food scraps. Lomi has helped me turn my home into a climate solution and now I transform my organic organic waste into nutrient-rich, loamy earth that I feed my garden instead of sending it to the landfill, which helps the environment and also makes my life easier. Make no mistake, all my food, scraps, plant clippings, and even those leftovers I forgot in the back of the fridge go right into my garden, helping me grow nutritious food at home. I've even taken home my family's leftover food waste from restaurants and put it in the loamy. And now Lomi's new app allows me to track my environmental impact and earn points for every cycle I run and redeem freebies from Lomi and other great brands. Lomi promises to bring you the best possible experience every time you run a cycle. And they're one of the only kitchen appliances that has a full no questions asked lifetime warranty on all devices. And they don't stop there. Lomi looks after you from day one and beyond. When you purchase a continued subscription, you'll automatically get upgraded to a new Lomi device every three years. Whether you want to start making a positive environmental impact or just grow a beautiful garden, Lomi is the perfect a solution for you. Head to Lomi.com slash Legal AF and use the promo code Legal AF to get 50% or yeah, $50 off your Lomi. That's $50 off when you head to Lomi.com slash Legal AF and use promo code Legal AF at checkout. Thank you, Lomi, for sponsoring this episode. And so now we got the new reporting. The brief is in for the New York Attorney General. There is no emergency hearing as of yet to be sold. And Donald Trump is stupid enough to undermine his own stay by posting on social media that he's got $500 million in cash laying around. Let's put it up on the screen. Great. I'm so glad you have $500 million in cash. And you're telling, and and this is the part that is just completely undermines his argument as pointed out by the New York Attorney General. If he has $500 million in cash, now part of that he's got to use allegedly to operate this fraudulent business that's under monitorship. But let's put that aside for a minute. Let's say he can pledge all the cash. He's told the world that no one will take $500 million from him, pledge it into a dedicated restricted bank account, so a pledged asset, to support a $500 and a $500 million bond dollar for dollar. No bonding company will do that. So he can't get credit from anyone. The, because that's what that's what it is. I mean, when bonding companies usually usually charge, look, give us 10%, we'll put up the bond, right? Give us a couple of house deeds, give us this, give us that, personal credit, and we'll give you the bond. Bonding companies like Chubb are requiring him to put up 100 cents of the dollar to back the bond. That means they're not extending him any credit whatsoever, would you? He's been a judge, a fraudster by, by a New York judge. A New York jury has adjudged his companies to have committed tax fraud in 17 counts of a conviction two years ago. His CFO went to jail and is going to jail again for fraud and perjury. I mean, his controller, the other money man inside the company for years, just avoided going to jail because he cooperated with the prosecutors. His auditors and accountants quit claiming fraud. So is it any surprise he can't get a loan? The only one that will, quote, lend him money are his, is the sucker's bet, his donors and supporters of Truth Social who are bidding up the stock price for his meme cult stock for no apparent reason. It's not stopping It's not stopping Letitia James. It's not going to stop the appellate division first department in, in allowing her to enforce her judgment. And him saying out loud, I've got $500 million. For me, that just indicates that how bad his credit is. 
that even with $500 million in cash, he can't get a bond. Well, then put up the cash. Pledge the cash. He can deposit the $500 million. He can scrape up another, you know, whatever. He needs another five or $10 million into the court registry and stop the enforcement of the bond. He doesn't need a bond. If you have cash equivalent, just to be clear on creditors' rights, <clears throat> if you have cash equivalent, if you have the cash equivalent of the amount of the judgment and you're willing to post that in the bank, you can stop the enforcement of the judgment. You don't need a bond, a supersedious bond, <clears throat> pardon me, in order to do that. He just did that at a very smaller scale, but as an example to show you he knows he can do this in the E. Jean Carroll first judgment against him for $5.5 million. He came out of pocket to save the bond premium and to save the other fees of another 5 or $8 million. He just posted it. $5.5 million. It's sitting in the court registry until uh, E. Jean Carroll won and its appeal is over. And if he loses the appeal, he either pays the judgment immediately or she goes against the $5.5 million running with interest in the clerk's uh, court registry. He does it again. He just told the world he can post the money. And you know that, that Letitia James is going to raise it to the appellate division as soon as she can. It's not, we didn't just see it. Everybody saw it and she certainly saw it. So we'll continue to follow, you know, in micro movements, everything that happens between uh, today and Monday. I'm so excited. I'm stuttering <laughs> right here on the Midas Touch Network and on this YouTube channel. If you like what we're doing, follow us on Legal AF, the podcast at the intersection of law and politics that we do every week on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And then on hot takes just like this one. So if you like my kind of hot takes, I hope you do. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. It helps with the ratings, keeps us on the air. So putting this all together, Letitia James gearing up for Monday, Letitia James filing the judgment in Westchester to take the Seven Springs property from Donald Trump as soon as she can. Donald Trump telling the world he's got the money, it doesn't need a bond, undermining his request for a stay. The appellate division, as of right now, as of the time of this hot take, having not granted the stay, and Letitia James being able to file another brief to respond to inappropriate commentary and evidence, quote unquote, evidence that was supplied by Donald Trump in a brief that it should not have been included in. We'll follow all that right here on the Midas Touch Network until my next hot take, until my next legal AF. This is Michael Popak reporting. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram at Midas Touch to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.